Hey, Tuberinos, how you doing? Canadian Atheist here. Well, here I am, out in the sticks, on vacation, being an unshaven bum, relaxing. But the news still gets to us out here, and I hear Bin Laden is dead. Yay. Apparently now it'll be all puppies and rainbows and sweetness and light. The worst bad man in the world has been killed. It's all over. Hallelujah. Praise Jeebus. Or does anybody but me think it's not going to make much of a bloody difference? I don't know. I find it a little convenient. Ten years after the crap happens, pretty much. You know, when suddenly it doesn't matter anymore. All of a sudden they get them. Yeah, all of a sudden. I guess they finally followed the puppet strings, huh? That's my guess. If you think differently, that's cool. I don't blame you. You might even be right. I don't know. Probably even you don't know. As far as I'm concerned, we have as much proof for Osama bin Laden's death as we do for the fact that he ever lived, or that he was responsible for 9-11. In the end, what does it really matter? I don't think this war on terrorism is going to end anytime soon. There's too much profit to be had. It's a crazy world. Crazy world. Politics, man. Sometimes it drives me nuts. I really don't like politicians. None of them. Not a single one of them. Not of any stripe. As some of you may know, it was just an election here in Canada. And uh, one of the things that was pointed out to me recently, some people have the opinion that if you don't want to void, vote, or let me say that again, if you don't want to vote for one of the available candidates that you should just otherwise shut the fuck up. Um, and I think I understand that statement. I understand the frustration behind it. I think for most people that comes more out of the desire to say something like, well, you know, if you have any solutions to offer, please offer them. Get up off your ass and do something about it if you don't like it. I agree. Totally. Totally. So I understand why people want to be politically active. Um, to be honest, sometimes I think that's a waste of time. I really do. Uh, but sometimes, maybe I need to listen to a different opinion to help level it out. To help bring me back to center. To see it more realistically. Because I can be as capable of anyone of seeing it from just my own perspective and is seeing it out of balance. So, so th for those who would say, vote, or shut the fuck up, nah, I'm not going to shut the fuck up. But I did vote. Even though I don't like much like the choices. It's going to be an interesting time the next little while in Canada. We've gone from having a conservative minority government and a uh, disloyal opposition formed by the Quebecois um, the Bloc Québécois is actually a separatist party with, that has federal status within Canada. Or at least they did until yesterday. <laughs> They've been decimated. They've gone from being the official opposition to having only four seats in Parliament. Which pretty much effectively destroys their party. Interestingly enough, the NDP, National Democratic Party, have really risen a lot. I find that very hopeful. That's who I voted for. Um, yeah, and I don't mind telling you that. I don't care. <laughs> for those of you who voted for the Conservatives, I hope you're happy with what you get. Because quite frankly, I think that man's going to decimate the health care system over the next little while. Harper's been on record as saying he thinks that the health care system is essentially Canadian welfare. And that he'd like to see it privatized. That's a mistake. And that people will fight. They won't allow that. So it's going to be an interesting time the next little while in Canada. And in the world. It always is. Remember the ancient ancient Chinese curse. May you live in interesting times. <laughs> Buddy, am I cursed. <laughs> Peace and long life to you.